All right, so what I have here is I have an ABC HD uh, camera and a card, and I want to import this into Final Cut Pro. So I'm on a laptop, and I have the uh, MacBook Pro where I can just put it in. And as you see, you see anything, you don't see anything. It just says private and all that. So you, you can't get footage off of here. So what I want to do, create a new event first. Then I'm going to go File, Import, Media, or Command-I, and then wait for this to uh, start and then once this starts I'm going to um, I'm going to put the clips that I want so automatically in Final Cut Pro 10 when you do the import you can import right from the camera now if I didn't have the card reader in there I could put the uh, the camera in USB mode so you can review the clips it shows the date the time so we just shot some stuff today AVCHD. So today is March, so we want to see this and then we want to see some other stuff. Okay, so this is all the stuff. It shows how many gigabytes everything is. And we want to import. So I can even do some in and out points if I wanted to just import some of this. And I could just hit the play button, play around. Okay, so it shows a little bit about. What we're going to get, got some B-roll of the event, some other stuff. So it shows the start, the end, and then the duration. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just import uh, some of these short clips right now. And uh, we're going to import these selected. Then I have an event already that's created, and I'm just going to import. Um, I could make them optimize media, <coughs> pardon me, or create proxy media, but I'm not going to do that. Or analyze and fix any problems. So I'm just going to hit import those files right now. Then as they import them, you'll see when they're finished importing, they'll have this. They'll be, they won't have this little thing around them. So these are the things. Kids shot here, students. And uh, just want to see what they what they got. So that's how you import uh, ABC HD Final Cut Pro 10. Very easy. If you have any questions, uh, you can always email us at ask at webvideochefs.com or you can hit us up on Twitter at, at webvideochefs. Take care.